afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to Scrooge's Christmas. Please be aware that no photography and video equipment is allowed to be used in this theatre. In case of an emergency, the exits are on the left, the right, and to the main entrance of the auditorium. Please be aware that in this show there is smoke effects, flashing lights, loud music, and scary, scary ghosts. Please enjoy the show and give a big round of applause for Scrooge's Christmas!
Christmas, Uncle Ebenezer. Humbug! Christmas? Humbug? Surely you don't mean that, Uncle. I most certainly do. What gives you the right to be merry and poor as you are? <laughs> what gives you the right to be miserable, as rich as you are? Bah! Don't be cross, Uncle. What else can I be in such a world of fools? Merry Christmas indeed. What Christmas to the likes of you? But the time to you yourself a year older, and not a penny of jack. If I had my way, every unit who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be his own pudding and bury the stake of holly through his heart. Uncle! Nephew! Keep Christmas in your own way and let me keep it in mine! But you don't keep it! That's the whole point! So let me leave it alone then! Which good unto to you, which good is ever unto you! I make no money for it! That is true! <coughs> is that what Christmas is about? Should we tell town think of friends and family, people we love? Christmas is a pleasant time, a time for making merry, a time for goodwill to others, rich or poor, all members of the same race after all. And therefore, Uncle, I think Christmas is an occasion where we celebrate that. So therefore, Uncle, ain't never put a pain in my pocket. I believe that it's done me good, and will do me good. So I say, God bless it. Yeah. One more sound from you, and you'll keep your comes by losing your situation. You're quite a powerful speaker, sir. I wonder you don't go into Parliament. Don't be cross, Uncle. Come, down with us tomorrow. I'd sooner die with the rats in the gutter. What have I done to make you so bitter? What have you done indeed? Why did you get married? Because I fell in love. Because you fell in love? Ha! I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. You never came to see me before as married. You can neither not give the reason for not coming now. Bah! I ask nothing of you. I ask nothing from you. But why can't we be friends? Good afternoon to you. I'm sorry with all my heart to find you like this. If I ever said or done anything to offend you, then I apologise. It's Christmas Eve, and I came to visit you with the spirit of goodwill. And I shall keep that spirit to last. So I say to you, a Merry Christmas, Uncle. Bah! Oh, and a Merry Christmas to yourself, ladies. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. Bah! Richard Marley's, I believe. You have been a pleasure of addressing Mrs. Scrooge or Mr. Marley. Marley's dead. Oh dear. I'm so sorry. Please accept our consideration. He's been dead for years. Oh, I see. In that case, we've no doubt his generosity will be fully matched by his surviving partner. Generous? Marley? Ha! The man had more sense. Stick to business. I don't have all day. During the festive season, Mr. Scrooge, it's usual to, it's usual to think of those less fortunate than ourselves. Those who have a roof over their head? No, we're not to buy a decent meal for themselves. All their children. <laughs> Are there no prisons, then? Prisons? Or workhouses? As the place is no longer in operation. Indeed they are. I wish we could tell you otherwise. I was afraid what you say is this to exist. Some of us, Mr. Scrooge, believe that prisons and warehouses are not the solution to poverty. We feel sure you agree. To that end, we're attempting to raise money to provide the modest and destitute with a little of food and warmth at the time of year when luxuries are displayed in every shop window. So, what should I put you down for? You'll put me down for nothing. You mean you wish to remain anonymous? I mean I should be left alone. I don't make merry myself. And I see no reason why I should pay for scrounges and Alice to make merry. Mr. Scrooge. If they're hungry, let them find work. And if you prefer sitting in the doorways and begging in the streets, then let's bear it there, not mine. I think you'll find, Mr. Scrooge, that these people would only be too glad to work for their living. Unfortunately, some of those don't have that choice. But let them starve, then! I beg your pardon! Let them die and decrease the surplus population. Surplus population? You can't possibly mean that. I wish, sir. The world's an overcrowded place. Let them die. The, the rest of us will be well treated. I think it's clear we'll be wasting our time to pursue matters further. I'm glad there's something we both agree on. Well, bid you good day, Mr. Scrooge. And Merry Christmas.
Scrooge's office, the night is dense. The fog thickens, the cold is intense. Piercing. Perishing. Biting. Cold. Shivering. Stamping. Steaming. Cold. Shoppers hurry through crowded streets, searching brightly lit windows for the last minute presents. A Christmas treat. A dozen mince pies from grocery stores. Spring of holly to hang on the door. No holly wreath hangs on Scrooge's door. But outside is a girl with a nose red raw. Frozen fingers and frozen ears. Through Scrooge's keyhole, she cautiously peers. Bah! Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen. When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even, brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. When a poor man came in sight, gathering winter fuel. Bah! Oh, it's good. The hours and minutes took slowly by till time shut in the office arrives. I see you want all day tomorrow, I suppose. If it's convenient, sir. It isn't convenient, nor is it right. If I stop your day's wages, you'll think yourself to be done by. I'll be bound. And yet you don't think I'll be done by when I have to pay day's wages for no work. It's only once a year, sir. A poor excuse for picking a man's pocket. But I suppose you must be here all the early and following morning. I will, sir, and thank you, and a very merry... Bah! Scrooge lives alone. In gloomy street rooms which belonged to Marley years before. The garden is so dark that even Scrooge, who knows every stone, has to grip with his hands towards the door. But nothing unusual about this eve. Except tonight, for some strange reason. A face in the mist he sees. Marley! of your own senses. My senses are unreliable, upset by underdone but thick toes. What sort of naked group are you? I'm here, aren't I? Look at me. Use your eyes. Edition, that's all you are. A bit of uncooked beef, a blood of mustard, underdone but thick toes. There's more gravy about you in my grave. I say to you, humbug. Humbug? Humbug, is it? 
I'll give you humbug. Humbug! 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 Stop it! Please! Oh, good beef am I? I'm sorry, I apologize. What a mustard! I'll never say it again. What the dumb potatoes? I believe you. I believe you. What am I? You're a ghost. You're a ghost. What's my name? You're Marley. Jacob. Jacob Marley. Good. I'm glad we managed to stop that one. What are you doing here? Why have you come to haunt me? Don't be so terrified. I've not come to haunt you. I've come to warn you. Warn you? Not to be a fool. At least not as a bigger fool than I was. You were never a fool. Who could miss me? I wish of all my soul that my true. But you made a fortune. This is what I made. This! Is this what you want? Don't make the same mistake as me. That's what I've come to tell you. And that's my warning to you. It's such a fate. You can never rest. Never stay in one place. No fair to you, one or one. The chain. The chain I forged in life, made by my own free will, link by link, yard by yard. Was all those cows such chain? Your chain was as heavy as this years ago. Your chain is one I wish of no spirit. Jacob. If it's you, tell me none of this is true. Tell me it's all a dream. I wish it were. I suffer in death because I want to have was in life. But you're a good businessman. You were a wealthy man. Well, what does wealth count for? It counts for everything. You know that. What has more than money? Happiness, humanity, the love of other people. Humbug! I've never heard anything so rubbish in all my life. And you tell me your name is Jacob Morley? I say to you, Humbug! Humbug again. Humbug, Humbug, Humbug! Listen to me, Ebenezer, listen well. You only have one chance of life, just one. Thought we're an honor, we were no second attempt. I went through life with ears closed and eyes shut. Happiness was something I never thought about. Though a subject I never mentioned. I didn't give a hoot about humanity. I wanted to gain me. An eternity wandering the air, gazing on what it might have been, but never was. You were always such a good friend to me, Jacob. You'll be haunted by three spirits. Haunted? Is that my only hope? It is. Nah, I think I'd rather not. <coughs> Expect the first tomorrow when the clock strikes one. Couldn't I take all three at once and get over and done with? The second one the following night at the same hour. The third, the night after, the last of the twelve. Hold on a second, Lisa. Hear what they say. Um. Um. The ice clocks must be wrong. An ice cream got to its works. <coughs> Twelve o'clock. It can't be tomorrow already. I've not been in bed yet. Jacob. Jacob, are you there? Are you doing this? Sorry, what's the tune? Quarter past. That definitely wasn't 15 minutes. Half ah, past. That didn't seem like 15 minutes. Jacob. Jacob, are you there? Are you doing this? Marty, what are you doing? He said, ghost tomorrow when the bell tolls one. Ha! There we are. The hour and one o'clock. And no ghosts. Christmas past. Long past. Your past. What business do you have with me? Business. My business is your well-being. I think I'd rather not. I think I'd rather go to sleep. Come. Walk with me. You shall not be harmed. I'm not used to taking walks with ghosts. 
Come. Where's my, what's my street? What's happened? The shops. The shops. All I can see is country lane, fields. Hang on, I recognize this place. This is where I lived as a boy. You remember it then? Remember it? I could walk it blindfolded. Shane's have forgotten it for so many years. Never. Along here is a river. And there you see with a bridge. Beyond it, a chat, a church. What's more memories? It all brings back. Your lip is trembling. A twitch. A nervous twitch. We are but shadows of things from our past. They have no awareness of us. See you next year. Christmas holidays, but the school is not entirely deserted. The dreary place it always was. Walls damp and mussy, cold rooms and empty desks. No sound of running feet, no echo of laughter. How well I remember it. Is that? What a lonely forgotten child you were. I was never alone. I had my books. Perhaps you remember this Christmas. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what can I give him? <coughs> in my heart. Several years have passed and the boy is almost a man. But still at the same school. And still alone. I think. Yeah, must express instructions. I was packing the lawn tip and there was a hall. But why? What for? I might have be sent somewhere. It's not the coach, I believe. The coach? I don't understand. I always spend my Christmas here. I always have done. I stay in the school. Not this Christmas, Ebenezer. Not any Christmas ever again. Fun? It's a fun. <laughs> oh, dear, dear brother. I've come to take you home. Home? Home for good. You are asking back to this dismal school. I don't understand, but how? Why? Father, he's changed. He's much more kinder than he used to be. Last night I asked him if he might come home this Christmas, and he said yes. Yes, you should. And not only that, but you should come home for good. You're to be a man, Ebenezer, and you will have to come back to this school. I can't believe it. Well, you better, because there's your trunk ready to be put on the coach. You're quite a woman, little fan. A delicate creature. A mere breath could have withered her. But one with the biggest heart of anyone alive. She died young, I believe. With children? One. My nephew. Fred. You saw him recently. He came to my place of work. Come, we have another Christmas to visit. You recognize this warehouse? Recognize it? I was in practice here! You're poor there, Ebenezer. I'm here. Why is Mr. Fezziwing, <coughs> bless his old heart, is Mr. Fezziwing alive again? No more right tonight, Ebenezer, my boy. It's Christmas Eve. I want you to clear everything away on a fast white room's back, and your task is to transform this wonderful warehouse into Palladi Dam. Bell! Bell! Oh. Where is that girl? Belle? I see you remember her. 
I was just thinking of my clerk. That's all. Bob Cratchit. My time here grows short. Perhaps you remember this Christmas. Give us your bell. I feel it's what you have not changed. Oh, my heart, I wish that were true. It is true. I know what I feel, Ebenezer. Things are different between us. Put me in line and tell me they're not. But what's wrong with you? Don't you want us to be married? Then what? Why do you tell me so? We have to be honest with each other. There's another love in your life. Love? What love? I have no other love. How can you accuse me of such a thing? I'm talking about the little money. Money? It was never like this when we were first together. You were a different person back then. I was hardly more than a boy, a humble apprentice. But you had dreams. I still have them. Now all you talk about is becoming rich. Would you want to marry a poor man? You can't go to me for wanting to better myself. I don't blame you. I promise you, Belle, you want all for nothing. Except to think I want the most. When was the last time we spoke to each other of love? Be honest with me. If we were meeting now for the first time, would you still wish to marry me? You think I wouldn't? If you were free to choose, you'd choose a woman who wants the same as you. A woman who could help you achieve that. I thought much about this every day. I thought about nothing else. That is why I, I decided to release you. I feel never so released from you. Not in words. It's true. This is ridiculous. All I want for us is to have the best. Can't you see that? And for that we need money. I wish you had things, Ebenezer. I truly do. Don't just stand there! You t stop her! Go after her! Tell her you love her. Please, 
show me no more. No more, I beg you, no more. Take me home. I can't bear it. Why do you do this to me? I am but the first of ghosts. There are two more yet to come. Well, tell them to leave me alone. I wish to be left alone. The next will arrive tomorrow, at the stroke of one. No! 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 I can't bear it! No! 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 Fa la 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 Join in man, join in our merriment. See you'll feel better already. I'll wager my crown. Are you the second of ghosts that's Christmas that you told me about? I am the ghost of Christmas present. You're not afraid of me. I am who? No. I know what you've done. And then you show me to do good. <coughs> and intend to learn. Then learn you shall. Come. Are we staying? Aren't we leaving? Oh, we're leaving, make no mistake about it. We're leaving. Whoa! 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 We're rising into the air. We're above the houses. We're flying through the sky. Look down, look below. I didn't. I dared even. Steady yourself. I won't let you fall. Now, look down. Where are we? I don't recognize this part of the city. Then you should, and this house most of all. Who are you? Why are you showing me this? Watch and learn. It's a poky little dwelling where it belongs to. Peter, cups and plates, sit them out neatly, mind. Janet, could you be knives and forks, spoons too? Where have you put it? Go up again. I think I can smell goose. No finer tasting goose in all of England. And will it be big enough to feed the whole family? Come on, 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 now quickly, out of the chairs, everything has to be ready! Where's... Bring the barrel over, I'll be a bit squashed, but we'll manage. Where's your father? The sun should have finished by now. Where's Martha? Don't be acting for the back up today of all days. Martha's here! Martha! Oh, bless your heart alive. Merry Christmas, my love. Merry Christmas, Mum. Quickly, take off your shawl and bonnet. Everything's nearly ready. Just the gravy this evening. Peter, stick a fork in those potatoes. Rather, right you should see the goose. It's enormous. I can't smell of it as I passed the bakers. I knew it had to be ours. And applesauce. Where's Tiny Tim? He went to church with Father. Who are these people? Why have you shown me this? And for what reason? Patience. <coughs> Patience. It's Bob! It's Bob Cratchit! My clerk! Where have you been? I didn't think you weren't coming back. I hope you were good, Tiny Tim. Good as gold. Better. Stay behind us directly, didn't we, Father? That we did. He told me that for summer class, every night goes to church on Sunday, one day I might get well again. Of course you will, my love. You will. I promise. Where's my friend? She arrived yet? She's not coming. Not coming? Not coming at Christmas? Her employer wouldn't allow her to do it. What, 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 what kind of employer would give her a credit to do it at Christmas? Not mine, that's for sure. <laughs> 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 I love you, I do it to the lot of you. Happy Christmas, Father. Happy Christmas, my love. I never knew he had children. Did you ever ask? And one, not very well. Not well at all. Not to get Make sure they're not underdone. 
Talk about the master chef himself. Is it time for the goo? It's more than time. Can I go get it? And me. It's only two doors down. All oh, right then. But mind you carry it carefully. Use a cloth so you don't burn your fingers and don't drop <coughs> it. What about me? I have to go too. Go on then, the three of you. And no picking fingers. I'll be able to tell you though. What's this about the red print? The ceremony was about making the blind seem the limbs walk. I see. But did he say anything about um sermons? You know, hospitals, doctors? My dear. It's <laughs> I see, but it's not sermons we need for. Doctors cost money. He was only trying to help, that's all. The only person who should be helping is a slave driver employer of yours. If you were to give you a decent salary, the boy might stand more of a chance. But Tiny Tim won't get better though, won't he, Mum? He will love, he will promise. Go Smell that flame brown which it tastes like Christmas itself. Indeed it does, they made five certain of it. Don't forget the potatoes. Before we begin, the toast. A feast fit for a king, and a very Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! God bless us, everyone. God bless us, and a everyone. And Merry Christmas to Mr. Scrooge, the founder of the feast. The founder of the feast, indeed. I wonder you have the nerve. My dear, the children. I, I'd give him a feast, and I'd hope it'd be a good appetite. It's Christmas, dear. And I were to... I were to um, spoil it by drinking the help of such a miserable money grabber as Scrooge. You know he is, Bob. Nobody knows it better than you. But he'll be all alone on Christmas Day. He has no friends, no family. Father told me he must be the loneliest man in the world. I'll drink his health for my sake, my love. For the sake of the day. Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year to him. To Mr. Scrooge. To Mr. Scrooge. Tell me, Spirit, will Tiny Tim live? I see a vacant seat. And in the corner, the crunch with no owner. No, he must have help. He needs medicine, hospitals, and doctors. Let them die and let them starve and decrease the sample of population. No, I never meant this. Come, the day progresses. We have many places to visit. <laughs> but oh, oh, laugh? Oh, oh. I would recognize that laugh anywhere. As I live, I tell you, he told me Christmas was humbug. <laughs> it's my nephew, Fred. My I nephew believes it too. <laughs> well, shame on him, that's all I can say. You're better nephew than he deserves, is what I think. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, Mr. Scrooge, any more talk like this, and we won't all end up as gloomy as he. We're all supposed to be having a party. And a party we shall. Again, Kathleen? How about blind man's club? No, no. Let's play yes or no. Somebody has to think of something, but the rest of us have to get some tea. An excellent game, and I've just the subject. What is it? Well, that's what we have to find out. Somebody has to get something, but he's only allowed to say yes or no. I see. In that case, I'll go first. This thing you thought of, is it alive or is it dead? <laughs> he's only allowed to answer yes or no. All right then, is it dead? No. Is it alive? Yes. Is it some sort of plant? No. Is it an insect? No. <coughs> is it an animal? Yes. A rhinoceros? <laughs> no. A sheep? No. A horse? A pig? No. Is it a cow? A dog? Maybe a cat? No, no, and no. It's a horse. I tell you, a horse. A monkey? No. A horse? I tell you, a horse. Is it a horse? No! Uh. <coughs> Come on, can't you guess? Come on, tell me! We haven't got all day. Yet. It could be a bear. Sorry, it is. I forgot. <laughs> it's too long. That's a sandwich animal! Yes! 
A bird? I tell you a bird. Is it a lion? No. A tiger? No. A leopard? No. It's a bird. It's a bird. <laughs> Is it an extremely stubborn, nasty animal? <laughs> yes! I knew what it was! It's a bear! Does it walk on two legs? Yes! And runs? Yes! It grabs it! Oh, yes, it does, yes! And gnashes teeth at everyone! Yes! I think I know what it is. I think we all know who it is. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> I think it's a bear. It could be a bear. It's him, isn't it? The man himself! Your uncle! Scrooge! <laughs> 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 My only task is to bring happiness, but sadly, it's something I am not always able to achieve. Which of a ghost of Christmas present? I've got all things are possible for you. And I wish that was so. Is that a child? Two? But they're so shriveled, so thin. Who are they? Where are they from? They are poverty and hunger. Are they yours? They belong to all of us. Where are the homes, the parents? Drowned in floods, died of disease, killed in war. This is disgraceful. We need help. I need to meet a roof of their heads. We need a hospital. It has to be someone who can cure them. Are there no prisons, no workhouses? No, I never meant this. No, come back. Spirit leads. No. 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 Ah, that is. That's. No. I will follow you where you go. Lead on. Search me. You did cheap one, I know that though. Can't think of a single personal girl. Oh, maybe we should make that. 
And then we should volunteer and make it a party then. Bye bye, mate. Long as they're here, lunch, eh? Yeah. Okay, by that old money go back. He'd leave out of his coffin in a fit of fury. Hmm. I don't make merry myself. I see no reason why I should make paper down to liars to make merry. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> what? Who's the man they speak of? This is hate. This is outrageous. I hope I know that person. And if I did, I hope I pay him off. But the nut. But why? Why did you show me this? And for what reason? Excuse me. <coughs> Where are we? I have no dealings in this part of the city. No I wish to. The police brings the school degree. And there. It's the villain if I ever saw one. Open it up, old Jack. Tell her what it's worth. Now speak out, blind. I ain't ashamed. We all got to look out for ourselves. He always did. Join me, the man more, sir. One pair of boots, a couple of napkins. A set of teaspoon of silver. A pair of short tongs. What do you call this? What's it look like? A nice shirt, you don't mean to tell me you took it from his. Well, it's not likely he's going to get cold now without it, now is it? <laughs> not where he's going. You're about to make a fortune, Miss Dilber. It's the one who's not trying to sell the corpse itself. I hope he didn't die from anything captured. Who are these people? We should be locked up. The behaviour was a swiftful. Seven and six pence. Oh, I thank you. I always give too much to the ladies. It's a weakness of mine. You'll be the one nation of me. You sure none of this will be missed? Ha! Who boy? The old screw died alone. A little wonder, he scared everybody off when he was alive, so the two of us can cross it. <laughs> Is this the same man spoken of a grave? If it's not what one person feels an ounce of sadness for his poor man's death. Please, tell me, who is this man and why it hides these visions? <coughs> no. Not tiny Tim. Catch it? No, this mustn't be allowed to happen. I'll help you. I'll double your salary. I'll even triple it. I'll pay for the doctors. I'll help you. He'll be cured. You take care of him and I'll look after him myself. But anything like this, please. Fred? Fred, what are you doing here? Look, Kate, there's still some greenery around. You would have liked that. Sprint, please, stop. Fred, do something. Stop this from happening. Your life? Best to come alone. Just at the moment, anyway. No, not this. Christmas is always a special time for this. Why aren't I there? Why aren't I putting flowers in this grave? Why I with you? Good of you to come. We appreciate it. All of us. It's the most I can do, especially at this time. Christmas was always a special time for him. I my condolences to Mrs. Hatchet. So tell her. I'm deeply sorry for everything. No. Don't go. Don't leave me. No, spirit. No. This mustn't be allowed to happen. Of these dark shadows, what has to ha happen? Can nothing be changed? Nothing at all? Why are you showing me this? For what reason? I understand the past and the present, but this, what shall I take it from? What am I supposed to do? No. No! Please, ghost, please. I beg you, I've learned a lot of Christmas. I'll keep it all year round. I've learned from the past, the present, and the future. But please, don't go. Don't leave me. No! <coughs> no! No. Don't leave me. No.
my bed, my sheets, my blankets, there's a window, and the door, my room, all still here. And me, I'm here too. Not dead, not buried into the lonely grave. Oh, President, to be praised, I'm alive. I'm still alive. Your court deserves, and many pa back payments are included. Thank you so much, are you serious? Yes, and it should be me who should be thanking you. Fifty times over. <laughs> but please, you must allow me, I have an in invitation to dinner. Can I go? A very Merry Christmas to you, Mrs. And the very same to you.
Is your husband at home? My husband? Yes. Was it Kathleen? Oh, Beth, delighted to see you. A Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, sir. Do I know you? Not yet, but I'm hoping the acquaintance will be a happy one. What is going on? Who are you? Uncle! Uncle? Scrooge? I've come to dinner. If I'm still welcome, that is. Welcome? No living soul could be more so. Come in. Come in and join the party. Whoa! Hmm, I think you are. Oh yes, you did, you are. So what's here, sir? What's your opinion? I'm sure we're making merry yesterday. Making merry? Yes, sir. To tell you the truth, some of the miraculously happened. Miraculous, you say? Yes, sir. The turkey of Raffle will well, wish you the man said, but you won't tell us, you know? Not the same turkey, the biggest turkey you've ever seen. Sad to wait and so big for those families to go into the lake. My children never ate so much in their entire life. And you consider this miraculous turkey a bad excuse for arriving late, do you? No, sir. I'm very sorry. Well, my friend, let me tell you this. I've had enough of it, and therefore, and therefore, I'm going to raise your salary. Yeah? <laughs> Bob, a Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas I've ever given you any before. I'm going to raise your salary and cease to find me in every way I can. I beg your pardon, sir. We'll discuss the matter this afternoon. Make up the Bob Fire Ratchet. Things are going to change. This work is going to be the best workplace in the entire city. It turns out, Scrooge does it all. And Bob, what's your work for? And to tag it too. It's not die. Scrooge becomes a second father. Good man, is Some laugh to see him so cheap, but he takes no notice. He sings as hard and that's good enough for him. It is said, if anybody knows the meaning of Christmas, it's Ebenezer Scrooge. See the day when the same may be said of us all. God bless us, everyone. God, God bless us, everyone! <laughs> Say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. 